This example really fits more into case three, but I want to go ahead and do it before we start case three because I want to show what to do with this type of problem. Notice uh, our denominator here is a quadratic, but we can't um, we, we can't factor it because it's x squared plus nine. So what we have to do with this one is break it up like this. We can break it into three x over x squared plus nine plus 4 over x squared plus 9. And I'm going to go a little further and break it into two integrals like that. Whoop. So now both of these are things we can do, but um, they're both very different. The first one, 3x over x squared plus 9, this one we'll do with the u sub. Let u equal x squared plus 9 du then will be 2x dx, and so x dx is going to be 1 half du, and so this is going to give us, let's see, integral 3, x dx becomes 1 half du, and this down here is uh, x squared plus 9, that's, uh, that's just u. So I wind up with 3 halves, integral of 1 over u, du. And so that's going to give me 3 halves, ln of u. But I'm going to go ahead and replace the u with x squared plus 9, like that. Notice I left off the absolute values on this one because x squared plus 9 has to be positive. So it's not wrong to keep them on there, but they're not really needed. OK, this other one, this other problem, this other integral I got distracted because my, my cat squeak here jumped up on my lap. This other one though, this is one that we can do dealing, or we can deal with it using one of the formulas we saw earlier. Formula we're gonna use here is this guy. Um, for dx over x squared plus a squared. All right, so we've got the four hanging out front. And the formula tells us, let's see, 1 over a, a in this case is 3, and then inverse tan of x over a, so x over 3 plus c. So this one we had to break into two parts and deal with uh, each one individually. And that's going to come up in the problems that we do in case three.